taking a proactive approach. Shelley, that would be the Auburn Village School in Auburn. There's nothing wrong there right now, but they do have some areas of concern they don't want getting any worse. On top of the Auburn Village School, there are spots where the snow is starting to pile up. Wanting to avoid the possibility of trouble, school officials decided to ask some contractors what it might cost to ease the load. They went out and got some quotes, tried to get some quotes, tried 15 different vendors. Uh, we only received uh, some quotes from a couple of them, anywhere between uh, twenty and $60,000. That was a bit steep, so Auburn put out the call for volunteers, and Saturday morning, a bring your own shovel brigade will get the job done. For most schools, budgets are pretty tight, so we're lucky to live in a town where we say, hey, can you come help out the school, and people are, are willing to do it. It's certainly better than the alternative. In Milford Friday morning, administrators evacuated the high school due to snow load concerns. There, the superintendent says a teacher noticed a classroom skylight had shifted. The fire department later confirmed the ceiling had sunk a full three inches. I think it's safe to say that this is a very unusual winter and these conditions cannot always be foreseen. In Manchester, a roof cleaning crew scrambled to Gosler Park Elementary after school officials, already on snow load alert, found cracks in the walls. Our cautious vibes are up given what happened at Milford High School this morning. It's that same sentiment pushing Auburn to call up a regiment of shovel volunteers before more snow starts to fall. We'll shovel some off the roof, shovel some off the ground, uh, and try and make it a, a safer place. Any adults who want to help out in Auburn are urged to get to the school by 9 a.m. and bring their own shovel. Again, there is no immediate danger at the Auburn Village School. They just want to proactively get the snow off the roof. Reporting live in the newsroom, Adam Sexton, WMUR News 9. Plastow police are searching.